Hey folks, this is Robbie Payne again with Chrome Unboxed. Coming at you today with an unboxing of the Asus Chromebox. Now this is the Celeron version with two gigs of RAM. And as many of you probably know, if you're watching this, it's been very difficult to get a hold of. And so my, my review and unboxing has been put off a little bit uh, comparatively with other people because I simply had a hard time getting a hold of it and actually ended up paying a little bit extra for it from New Egg. Uh, I want to say $199 is what it went for. So over the next month or so, we should see these things popping up more uh, with retailers. And I'm going to do a couple uh, different things with this particular unboxing just because of the nature of the device. Most most devices I unbox are uh, are Chromebooks, and so they come obviously attached with a display, a keyboard, and a mouse pad. And so those things are worth going through and talking about, and you can kind of get a a general feel for the device just opening it up and starting it up and um, uh, a few hands-on impressions can happen there this particular device obviously is just a box um, and so I'm actually gonna attach a few peripherals to it now if they don't work um, I'll work those things out for the for the main review but for today's sake I will hook it up to a TV I'm gonna hook in um, a standalone hard drive I'm gonna hook in a Logitech keyboard and mouse uh, through the little Logitech unifying receiver. Now I've done that on a Chromebook before and it's worked just fine. But I want to show you that it does work and it will work on this setup. Um, I'm trying to think if there was any other peripherals I was going to hook up to this guy. Uh, but and, and the TV obviously. So um, I'll try to get all those things on camera and a different shot. But for right now we're just going to cut into this guy. <clears throat> like I said Newegg um, and I'm sure other manufacturers I know what they have in this guy for right now for the for the time being um, the device is hard to get a hold of and I'm guessing that fault goes back to Acer or Asus I'm sorry uh, it would have to I would think um, if we're running into issues um, and it looks like Newegg included for that 299 or that 199 price point an HDMI to VGA and audio converter so if you do have an older uh, VGA only display this is a great thing. Uh, it's going to give you a VGA output for your for your monitor and then a stereo output as well. So it's splitting that HDMI up for you if your particular setup does not have that. Uh, for a lot of people, this will probably be going on a newer device or something with a DVI. Um, there are cords. You can go on Amazon and you can get the cables uh, and such like that that will actually convert your HDMI into a DVI. And so here we go. Um, Asus Chromebox in search of incredible. And so, um, actually, much bigger box than I expected it to be. Now we'll cut into this guy. Now, while I'm opening this, um, the elephant in the room uh, with, with this particular device, and the question I've heard quite a bit is, why would you buy this as opposed to, say, buying um, that one of the Acer C720s, right around that same price range, $200 for the C720? And ultimately, you're getting the exact same internals. Plus, with the C720, you get a keyboard, a trackpad, and, and a screen. And the answer to that question is, I don't know uh, at this point. I, I'm not sure uh, what the benefit would be. But for some people, I think they would want to have something that, um, that can stay at home and they're not tempted to take with them. I don't know. We'll see as time goes by. And I use this in some different use cases. We'll see if it uh, ends up being something that I think is reasonable to keep around the house. And so, here we have it. Asus Chromebox. It is very small. I have relatively large hands. Can just palm a basketball, so that gives you a kind of idea. Um, so it's relatively small. Um, instructions, all this kind of stuff. What would this be? Oh, well, that's kind of fun. It looks as if this... Yeah. Hmm. I'm not really sure what this does exactly. Some sort of mount. Um, I'll have to get in the instructions and figure out exactly what it does. Because um, I'm unsure. Maybe it sits this way. Um, it's got... We've got pegs here to hang something on it. So I'll obviously be looking into that to try to figure out what exactly this guy is. Um, if you know already, you can leave it in the comments of the video to answer that question for anybody. And as I said, I will be figuring out the answer to that. Uh, 
instruction booklets set up. We all know it's Chrome OS, it's simple. But obviously that thing is used for something. We got some screws and everything with it. So that'll be interesting to figure that out. And then a uh, big block. If you've ever had an Asus laptop, this guy looks very familiar to you. Interestingly enough, that, that really looks like a, a laptop cable. So uh, making the kind of portability of this thing uh, realistic. So nicely packaged, to be honest with you. It makes me look forward to when Asus brings out their uh, Chromebook. That'll be pretty awesome. So we got some simple plastic here. And overall, um, you know, you got some fan ports down here at the bottom. And again, these, these mounting screws. Um, I'm still not sure how that lines up exactly. So we'll see. Like I said, we'll, we'll look into it. Uh, some rubbery feet down here at the bottom. You got two USB 3.0 ports, ports around one side. The other side has another two of those HDMI out. Um, you actually have a full size display port out, which is kind of cool because there's a lot of monitors that use that. You have your uh, microphone head headphone jack, uh, combo jack here. You do have a dedicated um, Ethernet port here and your power and some more fan vents. And over here, you get a full size SIM card slot and interestingly enough, a Kensington lock slot here as well. Um, cool little power here on the corner. I'm not sure how that depresses, if it even depresses at all. Perhaps when it's plugged in, it's on, I guess. Um, oh, there it does. Right at the top, it kind of depresses a little bit. So that's that's it. Um, it's a really attractive device. Um, you can see it's got a nice little uh, uh, lustry finish to it. Um, very tight. It's not very heavy, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, so honestly, between this one and then the i3 one that's going to come out, um, yeah, this it would be nice to be able to replace your big clunky PC with something uh, this small. So I'm going to take a second, get the guy hooked up, and we'll we'll go through some of those peripherals. Be right back. All right, guys. Um, here we got everything set up. Um, going to kind of walk you through. We got some stuff up there by the television. Um, Real quickly, we have uh, a hard drive, a uh, DVD, CD player. Um, we got a couple different keyboards set up. We'll talk about those. We got a Bluetooth speaker, and we got the Logitech T650 trackpad. And so, um, right off the bat, all of these work. Uh, they work just fine. No, no uh, drivers, none of that kind of stuff needed. They work, um, and they work exactly as you would expect them to, with the exception of the hard drive. Now, that is an old spinning hard drive. I want to say it is six years old, five years old. Um, I don't know enough about uh, computer hardware to tell you what may or may not be the issue with it working, um, other than to tell you it's not picking up, it's not seeing anything off of that device. So um, there is an SD card slot on this, so you could jump up to 128 gigs of memory. Um, I haven't priced them lately, but it's optional. You can do that, throw that inside if you really want to store some movies. I, that's what I would recommend. You might have a lot more luck with a solid state external drive through the USB, but I honestly do not know. Um, it, it fired up the, the disc, it spun, but it's not reading it. So I don't know if that's a universal problem across uh, Chrome OS or not. I've not looked at it enough. I don't use uh, local storage enough to have spent any time doing that. Anyway, um, the DVD CD works just fine. You can see it right here. We can click the eject, it will eject uh, from there. Um, it's full of photos of my of my daughter, and uh, interestingly enough, there the one issue I've run into so far with this uh, Chromebox, and I don't think it's an issue with the Chromebox. I think it's something with the TV. It's an off-brand television. It is 1080p, but for some reason it's not picking up 1080. And so when I go to change the display resolution, um, it gives me the option to click 1080. But when I go there, it thinks about it and then chooses no. Um, and so it's doing a 1360 by 768. So Full 16 by 9 would be 1366 by 768. So I don't know if maybe the 1080p um, is a few pixels shy on the uh, side to side. And so that's why the Chromebox does not like it. Um, I will have to test it against a, a different 1080p television. But because of that, you're getting some of the things that happen when you downscale 720 uh, or put a 720p resolution uh, device on a 1080p television. The, the picture just looks real grainy and funny looking. And so, again, I, I'll cover that in the um, in the review if I find that that is universal. Uh, I think it's just because of the display that we're running into some issues displaying that JPEG. 
Uh, let's see. So see DVD works uh, for the full review. I'll throw a DVD in that thing and see if it can decode and play DVD. I'm not hopeful, but you never know. Um, let's see. So uh, keyboard wise, I've got the Logitech. Um, uh, this is like the $30 uh, keyboard. It comes with the universal um, dongle. I've got uh, just a plain Anchor Bluetooth keyboard. I've got a set of Bluetooth speakers, and I've got the Logitech T650 trackpad. Now I've got both of these hooked up through the single, um, the single dongle up there. And I will say that particular dongle uh, works, and I've got another one that's just the same. And I put it in, and it doesn't do anything. It doesn't recognize these devices. I don't know if there's any type of uh, firmware, if they would need to be repairing, or exactly what uh, the deal is with that. What I do know is that the, the dongle that I have in there right now uh, is the one that's attached normally to my uh, Windows PC that sits at home and collects dust. And so it was set up with drivers and everything like that, so it works just fine. Um, the other one doesn't do anything, so your mileage may vary if you go buy a brand new Logitech keyboard and mouse, which I might be doing. They have a version of this where it's these two together for 100 bucks, and then they've got one with a much smaller little trackpad, no numeric keyboard. A uh, small little package for $30 um, right at Best Buy that you can go pick it up. Um, and I'm probably going to go pick one of those up just to have for this review because ultimately for me, what would be the win is to be able to sit on my couch and use this thing uh, on an ongoing basis. And so I need something where it's one piece where it can sit in my lap. This thing in your lap is useless because it needs to sit on a flat surface to click. Obviously, a regular mouse on, a, on your knee is no good either. So uh, I think that would be a good solution for this uh, in a living room scenario anyway. Um, a bit about the Logitech trackpad. Um, it's, it's so precise and so wonderful to use. Uh, it, it, it has just been a joy. I've, I've loved this thing since I came out with it. You know, on Chrome OS, it's just as good as you'd expect it to be. So if we're moving between tabs, three fingers, either way, no problem. Um, let me actually load something in one of these so you can see it's actually changing. So we get the switching, no problem. Um, expose works, no problem. Three fingers up, three fingers down, no issues. Um, two finger scroll works just fine. Uh, and you can see, you know, Google Plus doing what Google Plus does best. Get Chromebooks and Chrome boxes issues. Once it gets fully loaded, it's fine. I do have a, a GF loading up here at the top. Um, anyway, so trackpad works wonderfully. Uh, no problems with it whatsoever. Keyboards work fine. You know, you can pair up the, the F keys to, you know, what you would see on Chromebook. So F11 gives you full screen. Um, if you have a, something open, F11 gives you full screen and that's in the, the 11th position on the Chromebook, or a Chromebook normally. So you can kind of look across and go one, two, three, four, five. Okay, full screen is F5, I think. No, that's expose. So F4 is full screen. And, you know, uh, back should be F1. See if it'll go. And yeah, F1 goes back. So the, the function keys are lined up exactly where they would be. Uh, you just have to learn that when you're using a third party keyboard. I don't know. I think Asus or LG, one of the two, are coming out with a Chrome box keyboard. I think it's a, a quartered solution, so not a big fan of that myself. Um, real quick, Bluetooth speakers are working just fine, and we'll kind of knock out two birds with one stone here. Load up the Netflix movie real quick. And I was watching the cruise with my daughter. We'll just load it up wherever we were in this. So, audio works just fine. Full screen, you have a single get off of here. Uh, Bluetooth keyboard, or Bluetooth. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, Bluetooth speaker, keyboard working, no problem. So, all this stuff points to uh, a good entertainment experience, honestly, uh, when it comes to being able to sit on your couch and let this thing kind of do what it needs to do. So. Um, we'll be talking about much more in the full review. If you have any other, uh, this, I haven't done this before, but if you have any specific questions, something you want me to test or try or uh, uh, put the, the Chrome box through, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, in about a week, we'll see a full review up of this guy. I'm gonna use it at the house some. I'm gonna use it here at the office a little bit just to uh, uh, maybe come in here and they've got a nice big screen. I could sit here and work for a little while, I guess. Uh, we'll see. Um, 
but I'm going to mess around with it in a few different ways. And so if you have any particular things you'd like to see, uh, shoot me a message in the comments below or on uh, Google Plus. I'm Robbie Payne on Google Plus or I'm Chrome Unboxed on Google Plus as well. Shoot me a message on there. I'll attempt to, to the best of my ability. Probably not going to go buy anything in order to uh, answer a question, but if I have it at my disposal or if it's just a time related thing, I will give it a try. If there's some sites you want me to go to. Um, again, you're going to see the same performance on this that you would see on the um, Acer C720P that I reviewed before. So, um, that's about all we're going to talk about today. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the video, hit subscribe below. Uh, be sure to like the video and uh, uh, check back in a week or so. Um, if you're subscribing, hopefully you'll see it uh, in your feed, but uh, we'll have a full review up and hopefully answer some any other, other questions you guys might have about this. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Y'all have a good one.